starting off with some news for the senior class this week. The senior sponsors are needing some input from those students graduating this year. You should have an email from Ms. Sipes about voting for the class motto, song, colors, and flower. Not many people have turned in their choices and they need your help to make it official. Mrs. Sipes will also be set up in the cafeteria on Wednesday if you'd like to vote then. The yearbook staff also needs seniors to turn in their baby and kindergarten pictures by the end of next week. Senior pictures and recognition forms will also be due when we get back from Thanksgiving break. There are forms in the office and they can also be picked up in Ms. Austin's Moore's room. Speaking of Thanksgiving, next week is the last week before we get out for our two week break. Not many schools in the state take the week off for deer season and it has become a tradition here in Donovan. We spoke with some of you to see what you like best about the week of deer season. I say my favorite part is just uh, being alone, being able to hunt by myself, you know, not really getting away from school and all the traditions right there. Of course getting out of school and chilling with friends and kicking it at home and hunting and providing for the family. Being able to go out to my Uncle Jeff's house and hunt with all my family out there. Obviously hunting and then uh, spending time with family. And a reminder that next Friday is a half a day of school and we will get out at 1230. There will also be a community Thanksgiving dinner while we are out on break. It is sponsored by Chartwells and the Donovan School District and will be held Monday before Thanksgiving in the middle school cafeteria. The doors will open at 4.30 and it will run until 7. Last Friday, the winners of the October Loaded with Character Contest were honored at the football field as the most honest people at DHS. Since we have a break coming up, November and December are being combined and the trait this time around is trustworthy. A trustworthy person is one who is worthy of confidence and is a dependable person. You should have an email to nominate the person and teacher you think is the most trustworthy person. And that's it for news and announcements this week. Here's Peyton with this week's sports update. Thanks. It was a good week for the Donnett softball team. Nine players were named to the all-district softball team, including five players on the first team and four on the second team. The all-region team was announced a few days later, and Grayson Kirby, McKenna Monahan, and Kylie Hawkins were selected. Kenzie Reedus and Kendra Moore were also named to the all-district team for volleyball. And we were also selected for the all-conference team along with Allie Skaggs. Congratulations to all the Donuts who were selected. Black and Gold Night is coming up Thursday. The doors will open at 5.30 and there will be lots of activities that night. All of the teams at DHS will be introduced, followed by a team auction, talent show, and scrimmages with the basketball teams. There will be prizes for the best dressed and loudest student fan as well. Basketball season is just around the corner and there will be a jamboree for both the Dons and Donnas coming up. The Donnas will hold their first on Tuesday, November 15th, starting at 6. The Dons will hold theirs two days later on the 17th, starting at 5.30. We had the chance to sit down with both coaches to talk about the upcoming season this week. There are a total of 18 home games this season, nine for each team. The schedule for both teams is loaded with some tough opponents, but both Coach Cagle and Epps say playing a tougher regular season schedule will help them in the long run when it comes time for districts. The Saxton game last year was really good. We went down there and uh, played a really good Saxton team, really close, almost won that game. And uh, I felt like that really helped us get ready for districts. We went into districts and we, we played well in districts. I know we uh, came up a little short against Dexter, one possession game, almost made you know the district finals. But uh, I think those games leading up to districts really helped us. And we need to be tested. And we definitely need to be tested there at the end of the year, right mm -hmm. before um, we start district play and you know hopefully get on another run like last year you know and uh, we want to be ready for that a little bit better that that just kind of resonates in our minds you know and nobody's happy about losing in the sectional game and the further you get on a run like that the worse those losses hurt mm -hmm. because you know you're that close to getting where you know not many teams have gone before you know so we got high goals the full interview for both coaches will be posted to our YouTube channel this weekend. And that's for Sports This Week. Time for your weekend weather forecast. It will be a very nice fall weekend coming up. Saturday will be partly sunny with a high of 67. Lots of sun on Sunday and a high of 73. And more of the same on Monday with a high of 72. We hope everyone has a great two weeks off and we'll see you again when we get back from the break.